So as you can see, I've got somebody with me right now, because um, <laughs> he's uh, not getting along with the bigger dogs, and uh, he keeps doing to them what he, he's doing to me right now, which is chewing on me and licking me, and irritates him, so they try to go after him. <laughs> So he's with me. It's usually, you know what he actually is usually with me in my videos, but he's usually behind me, sleeping, so you can't see him. But he's right here for the time being. So, so I can hold on to him so he doesn't run downstairs. So um, I saw this video by this guy, Zoraster, spelled with an X instead of a Z. Uh, and he. I caught a couple of his videos and they were so strange. I mean, the ideas in there were just so weird about how you basically had just a form of Judaism with the Book of Revelations until uh, the beginning of the third century, and then you get, or no, be midway, well, the middle of the second century, and then you get a. Uh, and then you get Marcionism and Valentinianism, and then uh, much later on, you get the Gospels that were written to support each other's, all these people's canon, and then just weird stuff. So I flipped to another one of his videos where he uh, he's trying to talk about the Gospels, and he has Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Marcion's Gospel. I'm guessing that's John. I don't know. Uh, so he's trying to say John Marcion Gospel or whatever. Uh, and then he starts going into the infancy stories trying to find, well, which one's the truest one? He says, well, the one that has all of the elements is the, is the first source, and then the other sources got their material from him. So they puts the Gospel of Peter, which we only have a fragment of, he talks about it as if the whole book is just a... Uh, is just the passion narrative and the resurrection. Truth is, we only have the end part of the book. Uh, so he says that was the first book, and this is the one where there's a, I think there's a giant glowing cross, and Jesus is standing next to two men, and they they grow such height and are stretched out, and they're gigantic, and then they're pulled into heaven, almost like a, a really weird looking stuff. In the infancy gospel of James, he says is uh, is the Proto Evangelium is the source for Matthew and Luke. This true story is when you get things that are all combined, having all almost of all the stories, it's proof basically that it's later. It's trying to harmonize. It's they didn't. That's not the source. They didn't all just conveniently take separate parts of it that neither that you know not either one of them mentioned and they're all not mentioning the same stuff if that makes sense uh, you would get you would get some overlap I don't know I just think this stuff's very wild I'll, I'll probably I don't know put this as a response to the video so you maybe you can see if there's a link there or something I don't know but uh it, it's just odd when people start Wikipedia and uh, early Christianity and then developing their theories, yeah. Crack research there. And he keeps saying Markion, Markion. Why would you... I don't know. I don't know. People are strange. It's a great song by the doors. Alright. Peace to you. Seems like this whole guy's getting irritated.